So what I want to talk about today is Kylan Linux. This is the uh, version that is one of the flavors of Ubuntu. So what is Kylan? Stay tuned, we'll talk about that. So Kylan Linux is an official Chinese version of an, uh, the Ubuntu distros. It is a loose continuation of Chinese uh, Kylan OS. And in 2013, Canonical uh, reached an agreement with the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology to create and release uh, an Ubuntu-based operating system that was targeted at the Chinese market, which was the whole idea behind this. So Ubuntu Kylan was officially released in April of 2013 as Ubuntu 13.04. It was based on 13.04's uh, operating baseline. So and Ubuntu Kylan 2004 was the first one to use a new release called U, of their UI called UKUI, which means Ubuntu Kylan user interface. It's pretty simple, right? I mean, so UKUI was uh, based originally on the Mate desktop. And Ubuntu Kylan 2210 is the current release, which was made available, of course, in October, uh, October the 20th, actually, in 2022. So Kylan uh, 2210 includes the latest release of the UKUI 3.0, and that was also included in the previous version of 2204. So both of these have 3.0. Now, 3.0 is based and has a dependency on Wayland. So if you're wondering about, is it Xorg or is it Wayland? It's Wayland. There is a preview technology called UKUI 3.0, and that was made available for both 2204. I don't know if it's on 2210. Again, there's no release notes for 2210. Uh, that's unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, the latest that they have is for 2204. So some of this information could be dated. If you guys know uh, an update or have additional information, please put, feel free to post, post it below. So it uh, UKUI has many, many components that make up it. But... The uh, window manager is UKUI KWIN, and there's a file manager for it. It doesn't use any of the ones that we're familiar with. It uses one called Peony. Uh, the control panel or, or the panel itself is UKUI panel, and it is loosely designed around the uh, look and feel for Windows 7. So with some elements that look a little bit like Windows 10, not quite, but they look a little bit like it. Uh, the control center is UKUI, the control center, and uh, there is a GitHub page, and you can look at that. There's a there's a whole list of elements about that long uh, that make up this thing, including some menus. But that when I bring up the menu, it looks very similar to a Windows uh, style interface where we have a listing of our probably a Windows Seven like interface. Uh, where we had, you know, the listing of the uh, applications that were available to us. This is Peony. Peony is the file manager, and it probably looks familiar to you uh, if you're if you've you know looked at any recent Windows uh, file managers. It's very similar to that. It's also similar to the one on, on GNOME as well. So yeah, it does look a little bit like uh, Nautilus and uh, some of those as well. So. Uh, yeah, um, it has a icon view and a list view here. And you'll see that it's a very simplified view. Uh, again, and this is more in style with Windows 10. And so, yeah, we have our ability to operate the display. Now, there is a software center, yeah, right here, that we can look at. And this will be in Chinese, though. But I think you can, I mean, it is part, you, you do see the name in English as well, and some of them, and some of them you don't. Uh, but you can get a list of all the software if you want that's made available. You have uh, UKI, uh, UKUI 2.0, that's available on Debian Buster, so uh, there are instructions on the GitHub if you want to install this on Debian, you can. There's also UKUI 3.0 that's available for Debian Bullseye. 
So if you have either one of those two, you can run it. It's also available on Arch, and there are instructions for that on GitHub. Uh, Fedora is, they're planning on doing that, but it isn't complete yet, so there are no instructions available just yet. There's Open Euler, which has instructions on the GitHub as well. The minimum requirements they don't publish because, I, like I said, we don't have a release note for it yet. So uh, these are mine based on what I've observed while running it. Um, I would recommend a dual-core x86-64 architecture. Now, there is ARM64 available, and I think they are working on a RISC-V version of this as well. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, keep your eyes open for those. But they're, the download on the Chinese site currently has uh, just the x86 version and the same uh, on the Ubuntu site as well. So uh, it's going to take about 15 gig of disk to install this. And so I would recommend at least 40 gig of disk space. And of course, uh, yeah, the higher resolution you can get on this one, the better. Again, some of the information that I have may be dated because I'm looking at architecture statements that are based on 2204 and not on 2210. It is, it is using a kernel 5.19, so it is using the same kernel as the Ubuntu desktop. I assume that all the same issues that are in the 5.19 kernel will be present in Kylan as well. Kalen as well. Uh, my final thoughts on this are... Uh, Overall, the interface seems good. Now, the Chinese side is very slow, I assume, because we're coming through the, ch the, the Chinese firewall, which is a, a pretty notoriously large one. And uh, so to download this, it didn't seem to take that long, but it's possible I was probably using mirrors that were outside of China. But any of the information re uh, re you know, that's related to uh, documentation or or the community or any of those kinds of things are definitely over there in the in behind the Chinese firewall. So I I mean I hope you I have not not ever looked at uh, uh, Kylan Linux before, uh, and I thought well you know a couple of you asked to take a look at it so I thought well okay I'll do that, and uh, and it's the first time for me to take a look at this. My overall impressions are. It's it's very well put together. I like I like the uh, the simplicity of the design. If you're coming from Windows, you'll you should be able to appreciate uh, that you aren't going to be. It isn't going to look all that unfamiliar to you if you were trying to to use something like uh, GNOME or or XFCE or even uh, uh, LX Cute. Uh, so yeah, those could be a little discerning to a new user when it's coming over to, to Linux for the first time. So, uh, would I recommend this as, as, in use for outside of China? Mm -mm, nope. I, I, I wouldn't trust it um, because I'm sure there is tons of monitoring that goes that's in that software. With that, that's all I had for today. Very short video on this one. I, I will be, I, I saw that most of you want me to do a review of uh, come on to, and I will do that. And so uh, look for that coming down the road. Hope to see y'all again in the next video. Bye for now. Hi.